Hi there and welcome back to my art life. For today's episode, I will be showing you the whole process on making this artwork that you see here. And also, I will be giving you a little bit of a background on how this came to be. So here, I am making my very first Vintage 5 illustration. And hopefully I get selected to move forward with the project. Wish me luck! So this artwork is more of a tryout piece for a future project, so it may come up a bit off and I know it won't be as perfect since this is not my usual art style and this is the first time I'm doing this. Please do let me know what you think later on after I finish the artwork and if you have any pointers, it'll be greatly appreciated so don't forget to leave a comment below and I really love reading your comments. Okay, so regarding this artwork, I was recently contacted by a previous client and they sent me an email saying they would like to sign me up for a project. They would like to commission me for a series of illustrations for a children's book. It was great, although there was a condition regarding the type of illustration that they need. And since there was already a few books that came out before it, they are requiring for the illustrations to be very similar or the same with the previous ones just for continuity. I took a look at the previous illustrations that they have and it pretty much looked vintage. The illustration style is very cartoonish with defined shapes and bold lines. Even the color scheme is vintage with deep muted shades. I replied back to them and I declined graciously saying that this isn't my art style and it will be best to find another artist that matches what they need. I even recommended a couple of people I know but they said that they already have gotten in touch with them and unfortunately their submitted artwork sample did not match what they're looking for. So they would like for me to at least give it a try and submit an artwork for evaluation. I did accept the challenge and I think it will be a fun learning experience for me to try out a new art style. And who knows, I might even like it so much and make it my prominent art style. So once I got started, I did a little bit of research first about the art style and it was vintage so I looked up old children's books. From what I found out, the art style that they were looking for is very much common during the 1970s and early 1980s. The art style doesn't look very difficult as it consists of basic shapes and bold colors, although the color scheme is a bit of a challenge for me since I'm very much used to bold and bright colors and this artwork style has deep muted colors. So that is going to take a little bit of adjusting and getting used to. With that said, I will leave you now to enjoy the rest of the artwork process. And also, again, don't forget to leave a comment on what you think about this artwork and also your tips and pointers is greatly appreciated. Thanks again for dropping by and have a great day. And again, enjoy the artwork process.